that the cause of all these viruses wreaking havoc on the lives of human beings were also caused by human beings. You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised, uncircumcised and hardened ears, you always oppose the Holy Spirit. First reading today from Saint Stephen, the first martyr. This has also been the constant complaint of Senator Sani Alvarez. Our hard heartedness to destroy the earth, it is considered a resource. For capitalistic purposes. But it is a life support system. We have abused it for too long. That's why if we were alive today, Sunny would have been overjoyed at the fact that the air is clean. For several nights, many of my friends on Facebook has posted that they can see the stars, they can see the mountains from far away. So just like Saul, who consented to the execution of Stephen, but later on had a conversion, may we also experience the ecological conversion that Pope Francis exhorted in his encyclical Laudato Si on care for our common home, which gave joy to the heart of Sani. He was a very religious guy and he liked this Pope. He had a very big smile when he told me, I really like this encyclical. So let us remember him today, all our, all his friends. So that maybe he can pray that we will also experience ecological conversion, especially since it has been found out that the cause of all these viruses wreaking havoc on the lives of human beings were also caused by human beings. They invade the habitat of animals and these animals harbor viruses in their body that through evolution they have already developed an immunity against. Human beings have not. And that's why when these viruses are transferred from animals to human beings and we have not evolved an immune system against these viruses, two million killed by the coronavirus COVID-19. We hope that these lives will not be in vain. We hope that all the blood, the sweat, and the tears that Senator Sani Alvarez spent to remind us that the earth, the planet, is a life support system. Air that we breathe, water that we drink, food that we eat, all come from Mother Earth. And that's why, mga anak ni Inang Daigdig, environmental performing artists from Smoky Mountain always end their concerts with the panonumpa sa kalikasan written by Senator Sani Alvarez. Gagawin ang lahat na makakaya para ipagtanggol ang kalikasan. In the Gospel, Jesus said, I am the bread from heaven. 
the concretization of what he said. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. And whoever believes in me will never thirst. We commemorate during the Mass what he said. This is my body. This is my blood. The bread that becomes the body of Christ comes from the earth. The wine pressed from the grapes from the vineyard comes from the earth. And that is why the priest says at the offertory, Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given. Let us never forget that. And in memory of Sani, and also in obedience to the mandate of Laudato Si on care for our common home, let us pray that the whole humanity, not only those who believe in Christ as the bread of life, the whole of human race, this is our common home, will experience ecological conversion and will renew the relationship with Mother Earth, no longer cutting all her trees, digging up all the minerals in her bosom. Let us experience ecological conversion, have a deeper, more intimate relationship with Mother Earth, and bow panunumpa sa kalikasan na gagawin ang lahat na ating makakaya upang ipagtanggol si Inang Daigdig. Good morning, brothers and sisters and parishioners of Sacred Heart Parish Shrine in Quezon City. Today is April 28, 2020, Tuesday of the third week of Easter. This Holy Mass, we continue to pray also for all those taking care of our sick, medical practitioners, nurses, doctors. May the Blessed Mother protect them from all harm and dangers. Also for scientists in their <clears throat> desire and project to find a cure from COVID-19, may the Holy Spirit strengthen and guide them. We also pray for the sick, our sick, those infected with the virus, including their families, those attending to them. May the Sacred Heart, the risen Lord, be their comfort and source of healing. In this Holy Mass also, we pray for the repose of the soul of former Senator, Agrarian Reforms Secretary, and Environmental Secretary, her son, Sani T. Alvarez. Today is his ninth day of his death, and this Mass is being offered by Mr. Dante V. Liban, members of the UP College of Law, Fraternity Alpha Phi Beta. Also, we pray for the repose of the souls of the following Gina Mabini, Zenaida Ruiz, Romy Virtusio, Chito Agoncillo, Angie Huang, Raymond Vince, Caridad, and Christopher. Tony Pat Carbon Hereza, Angeles Ales, Jaymar Legaste, and Lydia Laurente, Charlie Algiro Alquiros. Also, the special intentions of the following Ramon Lim Gores, Edward Michael Cruz, Sonnet Bernardo, Bel Gertes. Vicente Sabornay, Sister Maria Lirio Guillermo. The thanksgiving of the following, for the birthday of 
Christine de Jos, Christine de Jos Olmedillo, Aaron Ramos, the special healing of Luella Flores Teves, and special intentions of Richard and Joy Bautista. <laughs>